the other women have arrived. Don't tell Tammy. Hello, beautiful. So there it is, three of four. So one of the things Tammy and I have been uh, talking about for quite some time is, uh, well, just kind of in general, doing all the big projects before, you know, we move on to our next phase of uh, our adventure. Um, and one of those things is upgrading the power system. And the power system, like the boat is 20 years old. When I talk about the power system, I'm talking about the inverter charger thing, something we use to make AC power for the batteries when, when we're not at the marina. I'm talking about the components that charge the batteries. I'm talking about the batteries themselves. This concept of drop-in replacements keeps coming up. Drop-in replacement batteries, drop-in replacement uh, inverter chargers, drop-in. And what that means to me, uh, when I read it quite literally, is I shouldn't have to change the wiring. I shouldn't have to do anything. I take my old one out, I put the new one in, I hook it up, and everything should be better because it's 20, 20 years newer. We elected to go with all Victron components, so Victron inverter charger, Victron solar chargers, Victron battery isolators, Victron, Victron, Victron. Um, and those are supposed to be drop-in replacements for what we have today. So we shouldn't have to change in the cabling, we shouldn't have to do anything different, old one out, new one in. Same thing with the batteries. So we elected to go to lithium batteries for a lot of different reasons. I know they're pretty expensive, um, but we landed on Battleborn batteries because not only are they drop in replacement uh, from a voltage perspective, um, but also a form factor perspective. As you can see here, in the new installation, these batteries will be completely removed. They won't be here at all, and we'll have this entire new area here for storage. So the other location we have batteries is here, underneath this panel, which I'll remove right now. As you can see, we have four lead acid batteries, one, two, and then three, four. This motor in the middle is actually the bow thruster that we had installed. And so one of the benefits, and this, this will be the location that we put the, the lithium ion batteries, uh, one of the benefits of that is it's very close um, to this DC motor that requires a, a pretty good chunk of power in order to run it. And so our entire battery plant um, will be right up here. This is underneath. It really be um, a drop and replace installation and we'll find out if it actually really is. Next step, gotta run a bunch of cables. So we need to go through here, across the back here, down here. Let's see over here, we've got the monitoring system installed battery monitor system. This actually monitors the whole system. The next exciting thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove this old beast right here. Please. So I'm getting all prepped up. This is our inverter and we're going to replace it with this brand new beautiful piece of equipment.
So here, here we are underneath the, the nav station. So here's the nav station and um, underneath the seat, um, you can see here the new Victron Multi Plus 3000. Um, we have the solar controller. Truth be told, that um, wasn't drop and replaced, but back in Ensenada, we in installed 620 watts of solar, and that was already there. Um, we also put in a new battery isolator, and so here you can see uh, the Victron AgroFed um, battery isolator um, that replaced the old, uh, the old battery isolator. And so I didn't have to change anything. I didn't have to install any new wires. I simply changed some connectors, trimmed some wires, and uh, plugged it in. I did, however, for the the battery monitor, the monitor, this uh, controller they call it the color controller, uh, monitors the whole system, and I know that's really hard to see in the video. And the last piece of it will be um, the battery monitor system. Now I did have to run some new cables for that, just because those things didn't really exist today. Um, and so that that's been really the only thing, the only real cable that I had to run. Um, was a really short run from the management system down underneath here to plug into the solar controller and to monitor what's going on with the uh, inverter charger. And then I'll have to a, a pretty tough cable run all along the length of the outside of the boat where the battery cables are today up to the shunt. And so uh, the Victron 712 comes with its own shunt and I will install that up there where the battery cables are today. And so slowly but surely, um, I will have to, to feed a wire um, kind of all along the length behind, down underneath these parts, behind this bulkhead, and kind of all the way up to the front there. So that'll probably end up being an all-day project, if not two days. Well, after a bit of a tussle, um, that's four Battleborn batteries loaded in there snug as a bug. They're going to get strapped down with our uh, bow thruster in the center, keeping all the cabling nice and short and tight like it was before. And so. I would have to agree. They are drop-in replacements. They're fitting in the same place these guys were fitting in before, two on each side. And uh, 
Now we gotta get them strapped down and wired up and I still gotta run that damn shunt line all the way the length of the boat. No fun.